Hello and welcome to this date in history, aka TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day. The music in the background is Cannery by Jim Yosef, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds, aka NCS. For links to the app, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. Now let's get on with the show, shall we? Today is Thursday, aka Thursday, November 17th, 2016. Shut up, window! In 2013, a rare late season tornado outbreak struck in the Midwest. Illinois and Indiana were most affected with tornado reports as far north as lower Michigan. In total, six dozen tornadoes, that's 72, touched down in approximately an 11 hour time period, including seven EF3s and two EF4s. In 2013, 50 people died when Tatarstan Airlines Flight 363 crashed at Kazan Airport, Russia. In 2012, at least 50 schoolchildren died in an accident at a railway crossing near Manfalt, Egypt. In 1997, in Luxor, Egypt, 62 people were murdered by six Islamic militants outside the Temple of Hathesput. This event later became known as the Luxor Massacre. In 1993, the United States House of Representatives passed a resolution to establish the North American Free Trade Agreement, aka NAFTA. In 1990, Fugendake, which is part of the Mount Unzin Volcanic Complex in the Nagasaki Prefecture, Japan, became active once again and erupted. In 1989, during the Cold War, the Velvet Uprising began in Czechoslovakia when a student demonstration in Prague was quelled by riot police, sparking an uprising aimed at overthrowing the communist government in the country, which succeeded on December 29th. In 1988, the National Revival Day occurred in Baku, Azerbaijan, SSR, when a demonstration started against the Soviets due to the perceived ignorance of the inflaming tension around Naporno Karabakh. This demonstration was forcibly dispersed 17 days later and would become the largest of its kind ever held in the USSR. In 1983, the Zapatista Army of National Liberation was founded in Mexico. In 1978, the Star Wars Holiday Special aired on CBS and quickly received negative reception from critics, fans, and even Star Wars creator George Lucas. In 1973, during the Watergate scandal in Orlando, Florida, U.S. President Richard Nixon told 400 Association Press managing editors, I am not a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. In 1970, during the Luna program, the Soviet Union landed Luna called one on Mare Imbrium, aka Sea of Rains, on the moon, becoming the first roving remote-controlled robot to land on another world and was released by the orbiting Luna 17 spacecraft. In 1969, during the Cold War, negotiators from the Soviet Union and the United States met in Helsinki, Finland to begin SALT-1, aka Strategic Arms Limitation Talks, negotiations aimed at limiting the number of strategic weapons on both sides. In 1968, viewers of the Raiders-Jets football game in the eastern U.S. were denied the opportunity to watch the end when NBC broadcasted Heidi instead prompting changes to sports broadcasting in the U.S. In 1967, during the Vietnam conflict, acting on optimistic reports that he had been given on November 13th, U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson told the nation that, while much remained to be done, quote, we are inflicting greater losses and we're taking, we are making progress, end quote. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy dedicated Washington Doulas International Airport, which started serving the Washington, D.C. region. In 1953, the remaining human inhabitants of the Blasket Islands, Kerry, Ireland, were evacuated to the mainland. In 1950, Lahamo Dondrub was officially named the 14th Dalai Lama. In 1947, U.S. scientists John Bardeen and Walter Hauser Bretain observed the basic principles of the transistor, which became a key element for the electronics revolution of the 20th century. In 1947, the Screen Actors Guild implemented an anti-communist loyalty oath. 
In 1939, nine Czech students were murdered as a response to anti-Nazi demonstrations which were prompted by the death of Jan Opletal. After this, all Czech universities were shut down and over 1,200 students were sent to concentration camps. Since this event, International Students' Day has been celebrated in many countries, especially in the Czech Republic. In 1933, the United States recognized the Soviet Union. In 1903, the Russian Social Democratic Labor Party split into two groups, the Bolsheviks, which is Russian for majority, and the Mensheviks, which is Russian for minority. In 1894, H. H. Holmes, one of the first modern serial killers, was arrested in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1871, the National Rifle Association was granted a charter by the state of New York. In 1869, in Egypt, the Suez Canal, linking the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea, was inaugurated. In 1856, on the Sonoita River in present-day southern Arizona, the United States established Fort Buchanan in order to help control new land acquired in the Gadsden Purchase. In 1820, Captain Nathaniel Palmer became the first United Stadium to see Antarctica. The Palmer Peninsula was later named after him. In 1810, Sweden declared war on its ally, the United Kingdom, and began the Anglo-Swedish War. However, no fighting actually ever took place. In 1800, the United States Congress held its first session in Washington, D.C. In 1777, the Articles of Confederation for the U.S. were submitted to the states for ratification. In 1558, the Elizabeth era began when Queen Mary I of England died and was succeeded by her half-sister Elizabeth I of England. And in 1511, Henry VIII of England concluded the Treaty of Westminster, which was a pledge of mutual aid with Ferdinand II of Aragon against the French. First, Danny DeVito, 1944. And that concludes the show. Once again, you can check the underbar for any links you may be interested in. Don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. You can also write five thumbs and subscribe if you do so, please. For your dose of Passive events Daily, I am A.O. Xander, and you are you. Toodles. All right, give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Do you know my dad? Oh.